as for my toiletries we are driving there so i don't have to worry about things being under a certain amount of like fluid ounces and stuff i can take full size items if i want to but i still try my best not to yesterday i washed blow dried and straightened my hair so i won't have to take shampoo or conditioner because i won't wash my hair until i come back tuesday because I wash my hair every like five days or so. I don't wash it every single day just because I want my hair to grow like healthy and stuff. I don't want to dry it out too much. Yada, yada, yada. So I'm not going to take my big old shampoo and conditioner. I don't have travel bottles with me either. And I don't feel like going to the store to get any. So it's convenient that I don't have to take my shampoo and my conditioner. I am going to take my shower cap because like i said i don't wash my hair every day so if i wear a shower cap it prevents my hair from getting wet and from it getting like curly frizzy and wavy this is one thing i'm definitely taking with me i cannot live without my nivea um body moisturizer i wear this every single morning every single night throughout the day etc so let me put this to the side see this is the cream i was talking about so this is the one that i wear all the time but i don't have to take this big tub because i have the little sample ones or the little um yeah i am going to take my clinique take the day off cleansing balm this has been one of my favorite makeup melting products i used to use the one from this one right here my dermalogica pre-cleanse it's starting to run out i think i have an extra one though but this is also good lately i've been really into this one though and i have the travel size it's better to use like this first to melt off the makeup and then go over top with the makeup wipe just so you're not like rubbing on your skin and stuff i'm gonna take this too this is the belief moisturizing eye balm it's also pretty small and compact and i've been trying to get better with using eye creams i also have deodorant i personally love the degree motion sense in pure clean i've tried so many different deodorants this is the only one that does it for me i've tried it in different scents i've tried more like natural deodorants i've tried so many ones and they just don't work so i'm just this is what i stick to it works for me it is what it is so i have my ultra repair cream in the mini version what I, that i was talking about and i'm gonna take this huge fresh soy face cleanser I should have got the travel size one in this as well. I just was not thinking. Luckily, I don't have a limit here as far as how much I can take. But I am going to get the travel size just for when we travel, if we travel again. Jeez, I'm just not getting it together. This, I meant to get a travel version of it too because they have it in the small ones. And I just think it would be smarter. If I go to Target tonight... I'll get the travel of this because and maybe i'll look for a smaller version of this one too but this is the thyers is how you say it thayers thyers witch hazel it's an alcohol free toner and it is alcohol free not all of them are alcohol free the original one is not alcohol free but the rose one the cucumber and there's another one or a few others i hate when random numbers call me there's a few others that are alcohol free but the original one is not so i'm going to take this with me i've been using it morning and night and so far i think it's been working pretty well i'm also going to take a headband just because it wouldn't be me if i didn't when i'm doing my makeup when i shower when i'm just you know lounging i wear these specifically when i wear makeup though just because i don't like getting makeup all over my hairline so i'll just put this on top so i'm gonna take that with me i think that's everything as far as stuff that isn't already packed away i have to remember to leave these out so I have this bag already that has stuff in it and I haven't emptied it out since the last time I traveled. So I'm going to see kind of like what's in here. I got this cute bag from Amazon. I of course got it because it's like neutral and I love my neutrals. You open it up. You can hang it like this if you want. It has that handle. It also has a pocket in the back 
which I have hair ties in. And then right here, you open it up and you see everything else. So it has a flap here. It also has a hook. So you can hang this up as well and see everything. It has a zipper thing and then another zipper. And it has a huge compartment right here as well. Let me get a little closer so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So on this first flap, first off, I'm like... I'm a mom without being a mom and when I say that is because why I say that is because I carry things with me that a mom would usually carry at least that's what everyone tells me they're like you're such a mom like without even having kids because I'm extra like in my car I have a bag that has band-aids that has I need to stock up with Kleenex but it had like Kleenex makeup wipes safety pins um napkins what else sometimes i have like snacks in there like just things that you would need hand sanitizer do you have an extra deodorant in there as well like a gel one just so it doesn't melt because it's in the car like i just i'm that person so in here i have these flushable wipes because you just you never know when you need some flushable wipes i have these vagisil scent sensitive sense daily intimate wipes for the area down there you want to you know kind of um refresh throughout the day if like for me um usually well especially because we're going out there for the games i might carry one of these in here and then i might have a few like in my purse i actually do have the summer's eve um little towelettes in my bag just because if we're out all day like sometimes you just want to refresh the area you know be nice and clean and i have some kleenex wet wipes these you can use for your hands for your face just to clean things up if your hands are dirty in the little pocket i carry band-aids because you never know you just never know and we are going to be with the kids and stuff so in case anybody needs a band-aid uh, I have bobby pins. I have some magical poopery. I also have a mini of this one in my purse. A mini toothpaste. I don't like Crest toothpaste. I prefer, why can't I remember? It's like aqua, I think it's aqua something. I'll put a picture of it, but Crest, Colgate, they don't work for me either. It's like the deodorant. I have to use a specific type of toothpaste that's actually gonna last all day. For some reason, the Crest toothpaste and the Colgate toothpaste, after like two hours, I feel like I have to brush my teeth again. And with the one that I use, I don't I don't have to like refresh my breath for a while. And then at nighttime, I can brush my teeth again and I'll be fine throughout the day. Usually with this, like you gotta carry gum, you gotta carry mints. Cause this is not i don't know what it is i don't know what it is i don't know if it's just me or what i have a travel size of my bio oil i do have hairspray this travel version of my favorite hairspray the l'oreal l net i think that's what it's called and some baby oil so i feel like i was all over the place here let me just pack it all up bio oil baby oil hairspray sorry if you can hear the dogs barking poopery toothpaste deodorant moisturizer face moisturizer at least toothbrush and stuff i'm gonna leave sticking out because i'm gonna use this tomorrow clinique take the day off balm toner and this stuff, this little bag actually carries a lot of stuff for the size. My eye cream. So all I'm missing, I'm going to switch out the toothpaste for the other one. Let me make a little note here so I don't forget on my notes. Uh, this is another thing I always do. I create a list of things that I need to take with me. That way when I... um when it comes to packing or when it comes to leaving in the morning i can go through the list and make sure i have everything so i need toothpaste cotton pads i don't have in there so i also have this small compartment right here I'm telling you this thing fits a lot of stuff i already have a razor so i took out the other razor 
have a brand new one in here these are the summer's eves cleansing cloths that i was talking about i always carry some of these in my purse again just to refresh and stuff i have some tampons because you never know and i have a panty liner again because you never know just like that most of my toiletries are all packed in this tiny bag the only one again that is impacted in there is this i do my brushes and my hair tools in a separate bag i put that in the same bag that i put like my shoes and yeah so one side i put my shoes other stuff i put my hair tools i'll put this bag in there as well along with this just to have everything in one place but separated and organized at the same time time everything that i bought from sephora and nordstrom earlier i put it in the drawers that i normally would put my stuff in just because when i pack my makeup you guys can't even see me when i pack my makeup i like to go by categories and that way i don't miss anything so if i put everything where it's supposed to go normally i can just pick what i want and i could see it all in one place i pack all my stuff in this i got this from amazon a lot of people have similar things to this and I try to make everything that I'm taking fit in this one thing. You can put your makeup brushes up here. You can put other little things in there. And then you can adjust the compartment to whatever you want to put in here. This typically works for me, so I just leave it as is. Oh, my tweezers. Definitely something I don't want to forget. These, I just throw them in the small. Actually, no. I'll put them right here. I take my tweezers all the time in this top drawer i have most of my tools and i have my eyebrow stuff so i'm gonna pack a sponge i'm just gonna put it here for now one of these little razors in case i need to touch up my lip or something or my brows or you just again one of those things you just never know i definitely put that in there because it's smaller the new anastasia brow pencil that i just bought i'm gonna take my go-to eyebrow gel is the one from benefit so i'm gonna throw that there as well lately i've really been liking this hourglass eyebrow pencil as well this is their arch brow sculpting pencil for this drawer right here i have all of my primers and it's a mess i know but i'm able to see everything move stuff around and see what i'm gonna take i have a travel size of the caudalie spray which i love so i am gonna take this one cannot go anywhere without my hourglass mineral veil i want to try this so i'm going to take this just to give it a shot actually instead of taking my mineral veil i'm going to take my angel veil from nyx i recently got this one and i have been loving it again and for just in case we'll do the all nighter spray this is always a tough one for me because I love foundations and I have so many favorite ones. So I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I have been testing this out for the past like week and a half or so and I have liked it. It hasn't failed me yet so I'm going to take this one. And this I already know I love. I just got a another one of them. It's my hourglass foundation stick and i'm gonna take both shades because like i said i need to mix them so i'm doing the most and taking two and just in case i want more intense coverage and just because i want to try it out i'm going to take the jouer one as well i know it's kind of doing a lot because technically i'm taking four different ones but this is like one and these are two i can't the most narrowing down i can do for foundations usually is like three i have to have three different ones because the weather might be different coverage wise i just might want to do something different so i'll organize that in a little bit i am going to take the jouer concealer i don't know why i have the packaging i am going to take the concealer let me take this out color pop medium 20 to brighten a little bit and my Too faced born this way in sand so these two Let me kind of start throwing some of this stuff in here. I think my eyebrow stuff I'm going to put in here. And then primers can go here. Setting sprays. 
foundation sticks should fit there as well concealer can go here foundation foundation concealer so far so good foundations and primers setting sprays right here let me show you concealers in here and this is gonna go on top somewhere once i figure the rest out setting powders i'm only gonna take one of these because these are usually a lot more bulky and i'm gonna take my fenty um pro filter powder in banana these are also great the maybelline fit me this one i love and i would have taken this one instead but i don't have the little puff and it's very very messy so usually i, I keep this one flat right here and I also love the Derma Blend and the Laura Mercier. But again, I'm gonna take the Fenty one for this trip. And this one fits perfectly right in the middle one. Bronzers, this is usually pretty easy for me because I have my go-tos. I always take this black opal foundation and I use it as a bronzer, cream bronzer. This is a staple for me. And this is in Nutmeg. MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and Give Me Sun. I never not take this one anywhere. And just for trying out, I'm going to take the new um, Benefit Hula and Caramel. With bronzers, I usually just do these two and the, the Becca one maybe. Again, bronzers, I can only narrow it down to like three. So I'm going to do these th three for this trip. MAC Mineralize. Ben benefit and the stick one highlighters the dior one i really want to try i did try this one from mac from this new collection the spring collection they came out with and i loved it when i first opened it but now it looks more like a bronzer when i first opened it it was super shimmery on top and it was a perfect perfect highlighter for my skin tone but then i kept using it using it and it got more of a like this bronzy look and it just looks weird on my cheekbones i don't know why it had that like really nice layer of shimmer and it's called a uh, highlight powder too so i'm just a little bit confused as to why it doesn't really have shimmer anymore i definitely would have taken this with me but i was kind of thrown off with that so i'm just gonna do the dior one that i just bought and i'll do my my ex co-worker from sephora her name is jessica she got me on this one. I have all of the shades in the Laura Mercier highlighters. But one day I saw a picture of her wearing uh, full face of makeup. And I loved her glow and her bronzer and everything. I was like, what are you wearing on your face? I need to know. And she was wearing this Laura Mercier highlighter in Indiscretion. Indiscretion, yeah. And this is what it looks like. Super pretty. You can see I've been using it like crazy ever since she recommended it to me so i am going to take these two with me for this trip my blush drawer is very sad <laughs> very very sad because i hardly have blushes like that this is another one that she was wearing as well it's the mac blush in copper tone and she's she has a similar skin tone to me she might be a little bit more tan than i am but this looked amazing on her skin so i picked it up as well and i've been using it recently and it's been a go-to and then I'm also gonna take no I'm not gonna take this I want to try it but I don't want to take it and then end up looking ashy or something so now I'll just take it um eyeshadow I don't really think I need to take anything I can just use my bronzer as a crease color and my highlighters as my um like lid color in her corner i would normally take something like this which has browns and shimmers neutrals i would also take maybe something like uh, this if i want to do a little more glam because you can do natural and you can do glam but since i'm already taking a lot of like skin and foundations and new products i want to try i'm going to sacrifice taking an eyeshadow palette and i'm not yeah i'm not going to do that especially because these are a little bit more bulky i can survive without eyeshadow especially because i have lash extensions this top drawer just has a bunch of random stuff so i'm not even going to open that 
Um, this, by the way, I need to do a giveaway for this stuff. This is some Wet n Wild stuff. They sent me two of the same thing. And it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Like every single one has a bunch of different um, stuff in it as well. And this one too. This is new from Lottie. I believe it's Lottie London. They sent me two of these accidentally as well. So I'm going to do a giveaway. Stay tuned either on here or on my Instagram. You just got to be watching. And... You gotta be on it. You gotta be on your toes to see when I give all of this stuff out. But moving on, this is my lash drawer, lashes and makeup wipes. I have lash extensions right now, so we don't need any of this here, but I do need makeup wipes. And I always have packages on packages of these. These are my favorite ones from Walmart. They just work for my skin, so I'm gonna take this with me. But this goes just thrown in my bag because it doesn't fit in um, my, to my makeup bag. Mascaras and eyeliners, I don't need. I don't normally wear liners. Recently, I haven't been using any mascaras. Actually, I'm gonna take one just because of my lower lashes. So I'll go ahead and take my Too Faced Better Than Sex because it's waterproof. Lip colors, that's a whole that's a whole other thing. I'll take a red lip because you never know when you might need a red lip, and red lip goes with a lot of stuff, especially for nighttime. Um, I'm gonna take also a brown lip color. This is the I'm really getting annoyed that this is not focusing. Oh my god. Sorry guys. I don't know why it's doing this, but this is the Morphe liquid lipstick in True Story. It looks kind of like a nude here, but it is more of a brown, as you can see. So I'm going to take that. This is the, obviously, Fenty Beauty Uncensored. We got red, we got a brown, and we need a nude. Go to lately has been a knock on wood by dose of colors. This is the perfect nude for my skin tone. Perfect, perfect, perfect nude. And I don't need a lip liner. I could use a lip liner if I want to, but I don't need to. And for a gloss, where is my buxom? Oh, it's in my purse. In my purse that I just carry with me on like an everyday basis, I always have these two in there. So these are just automatic i always have these on hand doesn't matter where i go the fenty gloss bomb in fenty glow and the rose smith's rose rosebud salve this is like a lip balm so these are no matter where i go if i travel or not these are always with me and the glosses i'm gonna take i'm taking the buxom gloss in serena or sarina and the Berry Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss in Yes. So these are all the lip colors that I'm taking. I am also going to do lip liner. MAC Cork and MAC Oak. Coke and Coke. <laughs> Cork and Oak. Those are the only two that I really actually need. I'm not going to take any glitters. I don't... Ooh, you guys can't even see. I don't need glitter for this trip so we're not doing any glitters i do have my perfumes in here as well i have some roller balls i would take my giorgio armani c because this smells so good but it's a little bit too bulky and i don't want it to break so i'm not going to take this one um, and then as i mentioned when i'm over there in vegas i am gonna do the um i'm gonna buy that one from tom ford and I'll probably use that one over there. My go-to though has been the KKW Beauty Body One. It smells so good. I think I'm like halfway through it already, but this is like my everyday fragrance right here. Here is an overview of how it looks. So I still have even a little bit of room if I wanted to put more stuff in here, but I think we're good. I still have to pack my makeup brushes, but I need to clean them. So I'm not gonna show that part but um that is how i pack my 
makeup. Everything fits perfectly. It's not overly like stuck. I can still take more lip products if I wanted to. I can put a few more things here. Um, yeah, my blushes fit right here. I do... Mm, I do kind of wish this would all be together. So maybe I can make this... A little bit bigger just one more because I like to have my bronzers my highlighters and my blushes all in the same compartment because that's like the middle basically like the cheek area on my face there you go that works that works a lot better there you go. So an overview again, foundations, primers, my sponge, and I do have my mascara right here just because it just fits there. I have all of my powders. Yeah, all of my powders in the middle. My setting powder, bronzers, highlighters, blush, and my cream contour, but I'll just put that. No, that's fine. It'll stay there. Concealers, I have three that fit in this little compartment and my lip products I might end up throwing a few more in here but so far that's all that I have I would love to fit this in here just for goodness sake but she doesn't have travel version so I'm gonna have to take this separately because it doesn't fit in my toiletry bag either yeah just gotta do my brushes and this is pretty much done and it does close by the way and I still have space for when I put my brushes. As far as hair tools, I think I'm just going to take these two. This is my straightener I got from Amazon. And this is a one and a half or one and one fourth curling iron from Conair. I got this from Target. And then on this side, because this zips up, I'm gonna put my shoes right there and zip it up. That way my shoes don't get the other stuff dirty. There's no dirt and all of that. I can just zip it up and it'll be good to go. So this is all, oh, my makeup wipes. This is all of the toiletry stuff that I am going to pack. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, jewelry. I'm already wearing the earrings I showed you yesterday from Old Navy, but I do still take other things just in case I want to kind of dress up an outfit. So in here, by the way, I got this little travel jewelry case holder from Amazon as well. It's nude, my favorite color. And you open it up and it has compartments for your rings. It has compartments for necklaces, anklets, or anything else, bracelets. And then right here I put my earrings. You can put your necklaces on these little hooks just to prevent them from tangling. I don't really use necklaces that often. So I just put my hoops up here and any other earrings. So these earrings I'm taking you know, for a dressy outfit. These are from Forever 21. They're really cute and simple. I'm also gonna take these olive ones. These are also from Forever 21. And I don't remember where I got these from. I think these were from Target. They're these little like hoops. These are favorites of mine as well. And I'm going to take some hoops. I have just some silver plain hoops. You can get these anywhere. I don't remember where I got mine from, honestly. Just some silver hoops and some gold hoops. Very dainty, small gold hoops. And my bracelet. This one I also got from Amazon. It's supposed to be like a dupe for the... Cartier one so that's all I'm taking as far as jewelry goes not much 
I'm very simple as you guys know so same goes with my jewelry I don't do much I don't go all out the most thing I go all out with is maybe my earrings but that's about it so I just zip this up and it fits perfectly right in there this is the part that gets a little bit tricky for me which is figuring out what outfits I'm going to take this trip is again going to be pretty casual and what I wear on any other weekend that we go to the tournaments so a lot of what I'm taking are like basics, which is good because if we do end up going out, I can always pair it with like some jeans or something. I also pulled out my electronics, things that I need to charge, things that I'm gonna take. So I have my a portable charger, which is already all scratched up. This is already charged and ready to go. Headphones, just in case I need to work or something for whatever reason. My laptop, again, just in case of anything. If I have spare time, I can always edit. I don't think I'll have spare time, but just in case. This right here is for my memory card. If I take photos on my camera, I can just put my memory card right here and then plug this into my phone. Automatically puts all the photos in there. I'm obviously gonna take my vlog camera, but I'm using it right now. I do need to charge it though. I always take, this is also beat up because I've taken it everywhere, but I also take my speaker because when we're in the hotel room getting ready and stuff, we can always play some music instead of having our phones on like full blast. Of course, I'm taking the charger for the speaker and I'm also going to charge the speaker overnight because I need to charge it. And I also have my laptop charger. I still need to pack my phone charger but i'm obviously going to use it tonight and i think that's it as far as electronic and then i also forgot to mention earlier that i need to pack body wash that's one of the things that i forgot to add in my toiletry bag but i did put it on my list so back to this situation um i'm just going to show you what i have overall i again i'm still going to kind of add stuff here and there but i want to kind of show you how I go about packing my clothes. I'm not gonna get too detailed or try things on or anything. I just wanna show you the essentials for me and how I put them together. Um, maybe one day I'll film like a really detailed one, but I'm like in a rush. It's already almost 10 o'clock, so I'm like trying to get this all done so I can get some decent sleep. But I obviously wanna at least show you guys some of it so i already have my underwear my bras my undergarments like my shorts what else my slips socks i bring a ton of socks because if i'm going to be going to the gym and then who knows if i need an extra pair throughout the day or whatever so i have socks and all that stuff in this bag i have these cubes i got them on amazon I love them. It kind of makes things fit a little bit better and it's just a lot more organized. So yeah, I got these, like I said, from Amazon. Everything that I mentioned, I will link below in the description box. So this is already done. I'm also taking this towel. I mentioned it, I think, in one of my Amazon favorites. It's a Velcro towel. So when I get out of the shower, I just Velcro this around like my bust area. So the towel doesn't undo and slip and fall. When I use a regular towel, it just, if I'm doing my makeup, if I'm just walking around the hotel, I don't want my towel just slipping off. So I'll just take that with me. And it's like very thin, so it's not hard to pack. I have some basic body suits. I have this like nudish one. I can wear this with jeans, joggers, leggings, anything. I also have it in white. Same ex no, this one doesn't have the little buttons, but they're both just basic bodysuits. Dress these up, dress these down. Plain white tee, again, I can wear this to with like leggings, or I can wear this with jeans and some flats. Another piece that you can just dress up or dress down. I think basic tops are the easiest thing to um, take on trips because you can wear them in multiple things. I also have a plain black long sleeve dress sorry my phone keeps going off but i have a plain 
black long sleeve dress. This, I can wear it for a night out if we do go to dinner. You can see it's like just long sleeve and it goes down below the knees. I, like I said, I can wear this to go out and I can wear it with a pair of heels or I can wear it with a pair of sneakers. I also have a black spaghetti strap. What is this jumpsuit? It's just a plain jumpsuit. Basically leggings and a spaghetti strap put together. Two pairs of joggers. I just picked these up. The material of these, really, really soft. Got these from Forever 21 size medium there you go that's what they're called so I have these ones and then these I got from fashion no no from H&M just plain black joggers I got this top from fashion Nova it just says stay humble hustle hard and I'm planning on wearing this one with maybe some leggings and sneakers and tying it right here this one I got at Forever 21 today as well. Here is what it's called. And it is such a nice like cardigan jacket kind of thing. It's open front. It's kind of like a little pea coat almost. It has pockets and I love the color. It's the perfect gray. It's like a heathered gray. And this you can layer it. So I can wear a hoodie underneath this with some black leggings. I can wear this over the dress if we go for a night out. I can wear this with sneakers. It's very, very versatile. I have a plain beige hoodie. And I have a white Nike hoodie. My bottoms, I might still add maybe... No, I think this is fine actually. I have three pairs of leggings, just plain black leggings. These have a little like pattern on them. These are just plain black and these are also plain but they have fleece on the inside so they're nice and warm. I'm planning on layering these because they're thinner. I'm planning on layering these underneath of these right here because these kind of stick to your skin. Um, and I don't like that plus it'll add warmth. These are from Pretty Little Thing. Let me fix the lighting right here That's a little bit better. Yeah, these are from Pretty Little Thing. They're just jogger style windbreaker pants I'm taking two pairs of jeans um, Just in case again, we go out or if I just want to wear jeans or whatever and the Leggings I can wear them again to go out or just for casual I am still thinking of adding, I might take out the Nike sweater and just take this one, honestly. I don't think I need to take two of those. It's like excessive. They're almost the same except one says Nike, the other one doesn't. So um, I wish I had a plain black sweater like this because that would go with everything as well that would be perfect that would be it that would be everything i would take i think i need another jacket for sure because i'm not gonna wear this for all five days i could but yeah i want to take at least like another more heavy duty jacket i don't think i had enough tops i think i had a total of like five and we're gonna be there five days not counting if we go out and stuff so I added a long sleeve bodysuit, a plain black just tee, and then this loose band tee looking top. So I added three more tops. Probably overpacking. Um, I never said I was one to, <laughs> to not overpack. I'm just showing you how I pack. This is just a real life. I would rather pack a few more shirts than pack exactly five shirts and then not have something to wear usually when i go on trips i'm always like dang i wish i would have brought this or i would have i wish i would have brought one more shirt or a few more leggings that's always something with me all of the clothes i just showed you fit in just these three packing cubes the only thing i'm taking 
in my hand or not inside no actually it'll fit in the luggage but it's just not going in these is the jacket that i showed you guys other than that i fit the hoodie in with the shirts and the beanies the bottoms are all here and all of my undergarments are in this one so everything fit my shoes are also packed i feel like i can't narrow down on anything to be honest with you guys i could if i really tried but if it fits i'm gonna pack more so i'm taking these to work out and they're already like gross and stuff i'm also just taking these because they go with everything they're just plain slide-ons from h&m two pairs of heels these are super comfortable from target i finally got them in black and then just clear ones because they go with everything and then my adidas and these huarachis i'm also going to be wearing <laughs> a different pair I'm not sure if i'm going to take my nikes or if i'm going to take these and that's everything packed i managed to fit all together my laptop's going to go in here along with the speaker and the charger i just have that charging right now i'm able to close this up perfectly i still have room a lot of room and then my tops and my bottoms are on that side and then i have my other stuff in this one so in total i'm taking two bags that is it i'm gonna have my purse which is tiny but i think i mean i did pretty good for a five day trip technically that would be a check-in bag this would be a carry-on bag that's all i have for five days so and i still have a bunch of room to me this is pretty good i maybe a lot of you maybe could have just fit it all in this one bag shoes included i can't i almost forgot to pack my workout clothes it's the next morning and my bags are completely packed you can see them back there i'm finishing up doing my bed because my cousin might stay here while i'm gone but this is my outfit my little road trip outfit i'm taking this cobija looking coat just in case i get cold at night it's probably not gonna be that cold during the daytime it just makes me look super extra i know but it doesn't fit in my luggage so i'm just gonna take it with me like this bodysuit some sweatpants and then i'm wearing my nikes <laughs> 